So let's talk about the future of the Barclays Center. In just a couple of weeks, we have somebody you face in Zab Judah facing off against Danny Garcia on your network, Showtime. Mm -hmm. You'll be commentating that? Yeah, yeah, I'll be working the fight. It's, uh, I think it's a good fight. What's your prediction? Um, you know, Danny seems hungry right now, and he, it's his moment, you know, but you can't count a guy like Zab out. You know, it's, he's a veteran, and he's a guy who's, you know, who's also going to relish the fact that he's fighting in Brooklyn, where he's right. from, you know? So, so it, it's, it's a good styles matchup. You got the tenacity of Garcia uh, against the speed and athleticism of Judah. So I like the fight. I like the fight. It's hard to pick against Garcia, but I'm, I'm curious to see what Judah has, knowing this might be his last chance. So what about May 4th? It's on your network again. Yeah. That's a huge deal for Showtime. Yeah. Mayweather Guerrero, will you be out there for that? Yeah, I'll be out there for that as well. Uh, I'm excited, you know, uh, Floyd coming over to Showtime and, you know, getting to showcase himself over on, on, the, uh, on that network, uh, on our network. Um, Guerrero, I think, is a worthy competitor. He's, he's done very well lately. You know, boxing is a lot of what have you done for me lately, and he's looked very good lately. So um, I think it, it, he's living a good moment right now, and it could be a good fight. Do you think he's, you know, already home with the victory? Um, you can't say that for sure. You can't, it's hard to pick against Floyd because he's never lost, but at the same time, Guerrero has been looking very good, and he's been beating some pretty good fighters, and he's beating them like nobody else beats them. Like, he right. just beat Andre Berto like he stole something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and, like, nobody had done that to Berto before, so you got to give some credit there. So what about this weekend, right over there in Radio City Music Hall? Uh, Nonito Donaire and Guillermo Rigondeaux, any predictions for that? Uh, I, I like Donaire, but I can't, you know, it's hard to pick against Rigondeaux completely. Uh, he's got two Olympic gold medals, a great amateur career. Yeah. What he lacks in pro experience, he's got plenty of an amateur experience. So it's a good fight. I, I, I lean towards Donaire, but he, it's the kind of fight where you're not shocked if the other guy wins. Right. Do you want to shout out your Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram? We know you're all you're uh, Twitter king over here. <laughs> Twitter king, just shout me out at Paul Malinaji, at Paul Malinaji on Instagram. I don't do Facebook because I got hacked too many times. <laughs> there you go. Stay away from Facebook. But go to theboxingvoice.com. Polly Magnaggi and Jackie over here. We'll see you next time.